we are reading Millions of Maxes by Meg Wolitzer, published by Penguin. I loved this book and how the little boy here thinks he's the only Max in the world. And one day at the park, he learns a little something different. Have you ever thought that you were the only Sarah in the world or the only you by that name in that world? You'll have to let me know. Enjoy. Millions of Maxes by Meg Wolitzer. Max's room had his name all over it. It was on the wall, it was on the floor, it was even on the ceiling. Time for bed, one and only Max, his parents said each night. They took away his Max cup, they turned on his Max nightlight, they tucked him in under his Max blanket. In the dark, Max dreamed the dreams of the one and only Max. Then one day, Dad took him to the playground. Max ran all over. He was extremely fast. He rushed around the sandbox. He raced past the pigeons. He roared right through the sprinkler. Then he heard, Max, time to go home. I'm coming, shouted the one and only Max, and he ran toward the benches. But then someone else shouted, I'm coming. And someone else shouted, I'm coming. Max whirled around. Two kids were heading his way, one on a scooter and one on roller skates. There you are, Max. Are you ready to go? A dad said to the kid on skates. You're Max, asked the one and only Max. She nodded. But I'm Max, he said. And I'm also Max, said the kid on the scooter. What is going on here, asked the one and only Max. He sat down next to his dad, who just kept on reading his book, as if nothing bad had happened. How many Maxes were in the world? Maybe there were hundreds of them or thousands. There could even be millions of Maxes. And maybe all of those Maxes thought that they were the one and only Max. But they weren't. I am not the one and only Max, thought Max. And I never ever was. He could not believe it. Max on skates said to her dad, wait, we can't leave yet. I can't find my pink pine cone. Sorry, Max, said her dad. We have to get going. You can paint another pine cone at home. But I like that one. Max on the scooter said, I can help you look for it. And Max, who was no longer the one and only Max, said, I can help too. Can we, dad, asked Max on skates, please? Okay, said her dad, five minutes. So all the Maxes were off. First they ran and skated and scootered. Then one of them skated and two of them scootered. They rushed around the sandbox. They raced past the pigeons. They roared right through the sprinkler. All of them shouted, has anyone seen a pink pine cone? Is that it? Someone called from the top of the slide. The Maxes screeched to a stop. They came closer and closer. Max on skates bent down to look. There under a tree was something pink. Could it be? She picked it up. But it wasn't a pine cone at all. It was a pink ping pong ball. So they kept looking and kept shouting, has anyone seen a pink pine cone? Is that it? Someone called from the bottom of a seesaw. The Maxes screeched to a stop again. There in the grass was something pink. They came closer and closer. But before they could see what it was, up ran a little white dog. He snatched the pink thing in his mouth and raced away. Follow that dog, cried the no longer one and only Max. They scootered and skated and followed that little white dog right through the sprinkler, past the pigeons, around the sandbox, and over to a kid who was sitting on one of the benches eating a sandwich. The dog dropped the pink thing beside her and wagged its tail. There you are, the kid said, patting her dog. What did you bring me? Oh, what a nice pink pine cone. Thank you, Max. Wait a minute, said Max on the scooter. Your dog is named Max. All the Maxes started laughing. Ho, 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 said Max on roller skates. He, 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 said Max on the scooter. Ha, 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 said the no longer one and only Max. What's so funny about the name Max, asked the kid. With the dog, I think it's a great name. We do too, said all the Maxes. Max on the scooter picked up her pink pine cone and hugged it. Piney, I'm so glad I found you. That night, Max's parents said, time for bed, one and only Max. They took away his Max cup. They turned on his Max nightlight. They tucked him in under his Max blanket. Actually, said Max, I'm not the one and only Max. And I never was. Oh, no. Then who are you? Asked Dad. The one and only Throckmorton. Or maybe, said Mom, the one and only Fred. No, just Max, said Max. Today I met two more Maxes. I mean three. One likes to roller skate, one likes to scooter, and one has a tail. Excuse me, said Dad. Did you say a tail? Yes, because he's a dog, said Max. We all have the same name, but we're completely different. One, one goes, ho, 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 when she laughs. One goes, hee, hee, hee. And I go, ha, ha, ha. And that other Max probably goes, woof, woof, woof. I might see them again at the park tomorrow, he said. And maybe we'll meet even more Maxes, said Max. Hundreds of them, thousands of them. He closed his eyes. Millions of Maxes.
You have been listening to Millions of Maxes by Meg Wolitzer.